In this video, we're going to talk about synthetic division. Now, synthetic division is just kind of a quick, streamlined way of doing long division, where you don't have to write as many x's and things like that. So in, in this case, it asks us to do 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus x plus 7 divided by x minus 2. Now synthetic division is only going to work if you're dividing by something that's like x minus a number or x plus a number. If this had been like x squared minus 2, well we couldn't use synthetic division. Or 5x minus 2, we'd, we'd have to try something a little different. Okay, or use long division. Okay, but uh, synthetic division, what you do is first of all say what's the zero of this thing that we're dividing by? And notice it's 2. 2 is the thing that you could plug in here to give us 0. So we're going to put 2 over here. And notice we're not putting minus 2, we're putting 2. And then we're going to look at the coefficients of this polynomial here. It's 4, minus 3, 1, and 7. We're going to put those along the top row there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to bring down this 4 down here, and we're going to multiply 2 times 4, and that's going to give us 8. Okay, and then we're going to do negative 3 plus 8. Now, you have to be a little careful here. Remember when we were doing long division, we actually subtracted things. Um, but I think the fact that we're using a plus 2 out front here means we're actually going to add things. So we do negative eight, uh, 3 plus 8, that's 5. And then, negative, or then 2 times 5 is 10. And 1 plus 10 is 11. And then 2 times 11 is 22. And 7 plus 22 is 29. So what this tells us is that our final answer is actually 4x squared plus 5x plus 11 plus 29 over x minus 2. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, when we divide this by this, we get this. Okay, now it specifically says find the quotient and the remainder. Well, we usually call uh, Q of X, or the quotient, this first part, the 4X squared plus 5X plus 11. And the remainder is... Well, in this case, it's just 29. So we don't write it as 29 over x minus 2. We'll just write the remainder as 29. So there's the quotient, and there's the remainder. By the way, something that's kind of interesting about this remainder, this, this 29, is that it's the same number that you would have gotten if you had plugged 2 into the original polynomial. Okay, so remember, 2 was the 0 of this. If you plug 2 in here, you'd get 4 times 8 right, 2 cubed, that'd be 32, minus 3 times 4 minus 12, so 32 minus 12 is 20, and then plus 2, and then plus 7, that gives you 29. And that's not a coincidence, right? That'll always happen if you've done the synthetic division correctly. And sometimes that's actually a quick way to find what f of a certain number is for a polynomial, is to just do a synthetic division. Okay, let's do another example, and this example is going to illustrate something a little different. Notice our divisor out here, the x plus 3 has the correct form. Now our 0 will actually be minus 3 in this case though. That's the number that we plug in for x that would make that 0. Okay, and right here we're going to put 2, 7. Now we should put a 0 here with a minus 5 because notice we're missing the x term. Okay, if you're missing something you have to put in the 0, just like with long division. Okay, now again, what we're going to do is bring down the 2 and then minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. And then 7 plus a negative 6 is 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And negative 5 plus 9 is uh, 4. And so our final answer is 2x squared plus 1x minus 3 plus 4 over x plus 3. Okay, this is the exact same answer that you'd have gotten if you had done long division for this problem. Okay, but only notice it's a lot less writing. Okay, there's a lot less x's involved, and it, and it seems like it, it's less prone to making a mistake uh, doing this synthetic division. Again, though, the only drawback is that the thing, your divisor ends up having to be of this form, x plus a number or x minus a number. Now, again, if we were to write this as the quotient, right, the q of x would be the... the uh, 2x squared plus x minus 3, and the remainder, the r of x, would be 4. Okay, the number 4. Oh, and by the way, that number 4, again, is the same thing that you'd have gotten if you had plugged in negative 3 into this polynomial. Okay, you get negative 27 times 2, that's negative 54, and then plus 9 times 7 is 63, um, so that's 9, and then 9 minus 5 is 4. 
Okay, so that's how you do synthetic division. And again, that's it's just a quick way of doing long division where you're eliminating all these uh, x's. And one of the things you have to remember, again, is that when you're doing this step here, you don't end up subtracting these numbers like you do for long division. You're adding these numbers.